guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how you can edit your videos using panzoid.com. So they just recently added a video editor. If you guys don't know, they also have a thumbnail, you know, avatar YouTube banner maker as well with templates as well, which is great. They also have an intro maker if you want to check that out. I'll leave uh, links in the description to the videos I made on them as well as the website itself. But basically this website is great for anyone looking to getting into video editing or maybe they don't have a powerful PC or they don't even have a PC at all. Um, it's great for that type of stuff. Because it is web based, you don't have to download anything. Um, it's just on your browser. So um, it's a website, you know. So let's just get into the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I want to test it out myself as well. Um, see how it is and if it actually is helpful. Uh, with that being said, let's just get into the video. The first thing you want to do is go into panzoid.com. I've been using Panzoid since the beginning when everything was version 1. So Backgrounder 1, Clipmaker 1. My two most viewed videos are on uh, Clipmaker 1 and 2. So Panzoid has done very good for me. But now they've added their Video Editor 1.0 Alpha. And one thing I can say is that it improves as you know new versions come out obviously. They add a lot more features. While the first version is just a framework, it's going to improve and you can just expect a better video editor coming out soon. I also like Panzoid because it's very easy to use. If you press on the menu here, you can see it's basically in chronological order. So adding media, so adding your video, uh, changing the basic settings like the resolution, the frame rate, then you can actually edit the clips, add effects, and then you can download it. So in case you don't know your way around editing videos, it's basically there for you. So it's really easy to use. One thing I also like about this video editor is there is no watermark. So other video editors like I think Wii Video is similar to uh, Panzoid, but has a watermark and there's a limit to I think 720p in five minutes of video while this it has no limitations and it's just there for you to use for free. Also, it's web-based, so if you're using a tablet or you're on Chrome OS on a Chromebook, this is compatible for you no matter what. I know a lot of people on Chromebooks can't download any video editors because they're running Chrome OS, so this is a really big lifesaver for you as there's no limitations and it is compatible for your computer. So it's really easy to use. You just want to select your files. So in this case, I'm going to do intro and I'm going to just drag it here. If you want to split a clip, you just want to go through here, select uh, the clip, and then just press the split icon. That's the only option you have. There's no cutting, there's no trimming, but that's really all you need. You can also zoom in by pressing the magnifying glass and zoom out by pressing the other one. You can change the basic settings, the resolution, so you can actually export in up to 4K. Um, you can also change the frame rate. So in my case, I'd be 60 uh, FPS at 1080p. And here to edit the clips, you just want to select either one and you can change the size, the position, the opacity, the volume. You can also add background music. So in this case, you can change the master volume of the background music. You can also edit text. So if I were to add text here, I can select on it, press on that uh, pencil tool and edit the text and the color and stuff like that. You can also add effects. So what I like about these effects is there's color correction and chroma keying. Two things that I use in every one of my videos. I haven't obviously edited my entire video on this, but I've kind of have a feel for it. And from what I can see, they're just going to add a lot more options in the effects tab. So there's more functionality to the actual video editor. So I always use color correction and color grading on my videos. So that's really important to me as well as chroma keying for my lower thirds in my outro. So one thing I'm going to do here is just select a clip, add color correction. And basically it's just changing the hues. Honestly, it isn't really extensive yet. I'm sure they're going to improve it, but here you can see like you can change it and stuff like that. So it's obviously a different color. This is for the text. Obviously, if I wanted to change the the actual like video, you can do that as well by pressing here and then changing it. Oh, oops, my bad. Uh, I would expect them to add templates. So like uh, community templates where you can change it from a template. So similar to like LUT preset, they'll add presets like cool colors, warm colors for color correction, stuff like that. So here I'm just going to insert my outro since I need chroma keying for that. And I'm going to show you that it does work and it works pretty easily. So I'm just going to play it from here to see that. See my outro does need it. And if I go further down here, you'll see that that box is green and I don't want it to be green. I want it to be transparent. So what I can do is select the clip. Press on the effects tab, press add effect, chroma keying, and it's now gone. So it's great that it works really easily like that. And one thing I have to say about color correction is that Filmora, one of the most popular video editors that's been around for a long time, just recently added color correction. So you can see that they're ahead of the game. Panzer's ahead of the game. This is their first version of their software. It's only been out for a couple months and they've already added color correction while Filmora has taken years to do that. 
so you can only expect better things from Panzoid coming in the future. And once you're done, you just want to download the video, so it's basically rendering. One thing people will say is, why is it .mkv? I'm not sure why, but you can still upload it onto YouTube. You cannot upload .webm on YouTube, however. And for the mode, I would recommend using balance. Best quality does take a long time, and fastest render might uh, lose a bit of quality. If you have a really slow laptop, I go with fastest render. And now I'm just going to delete all the clips so that you guys can see um, the final rendering because I don't want it to take too long. And we're going to start rendering right now. And it's going to give you a time left, so an estimated time that it will take to render. And then it's going to give you options for downloading your video or returning to the video editing. I'm going to download my video. And it should appear in the bottom left here. I'm going to go onto youtube.com slash upload to show you guys that you can actually upload the video and it's compatible. And the great thing with Panzoid is that if you don't have an intro, you can also add it to the beginning of your video using Panzoid. So you can download an intro off Panzoid and you can make a thumbnail for that video also in Panzoid. So Panzoid's like the whole package. And that's just great that they provide these features and these services. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If it did help you out, hit that thumbs up button. I'm really excited for the future of Panzoid. I've been using it for a long time and I can't wait. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.